What's happening guys and welcome back to the channel. First things first, make sure you smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And Harry Kane's performances on the pitch for England at the Euros have been closely under scrutiny. And it's been possibly could be down to the fact that his club future is up in the air as well. It's been well documented now that he's said several times that he wants to move on from Spurs. He wants to win the big trophies. And it was said when that news first came out, there was he wanted to stay in the Premier League and there were sort of three clubs um, that were open to him. Manchester City, Manchester United and Chelsea. But it now looks like, George, that it's really only a one-horse race. It looks like it's going to be Manchester City next season for Harry Kane or staying at Spurs. And we had the first official movement in the Harry Kane transfer story this week with Manchester City lodging an official £100 million bid to Tottenham. It's not been rejected yet. Um, and they're prepared to include players in the deal as well with the likes of Raheem Sterling, Le Amaric Laporte and um, Gabriel Jesus said to be players they're willing to include. What are your initial thoughts on, on City's first bid in, in the Kane transfer? Very strong. There's going to be a long way to go in this one, I feel. I think that's just a, an opener just to give out the feels for Daniel Levy and see um, early negotiations. I, I doubt that they're going to accept that initial bid. Um, there, I was quite surprised by the inclusion of certain players, particularly Raheem Sterling and, and Laporte, mainly because I can't see those either of those players wanting to join Tottenham Hotspur. So I don't quite know how that works because surely those players have to give consent that they want, that they're happy to move as well, which I don't think they will. Um, but if you're, if you're Tottenham Hotspur, I mean, a hundred million pounds plus possibly Sterling or Laporte. I mean, it's not a bad deal for someone who's, you know, in their, in their mid twenties and not wanting to play for the club, most importantly. Um, and what an interesting one it is as well. I mean, I looked up just before we were about to go on, I looked up the fixture list and I think it's Tottenham Man City first game of the season. So it would be quite remarkable to see Harry Kane possibly facing his old club in his first game for his new club. I mean, I very much doubt that's going to be the case. I would I would suspect that he'll still be at Tottenham come kickoff at the start of the season. I think it will go right to the very wire in this summer transfer window. Yeah, I mean, it's a good point you make about the, the players plus cash uh, situation. Uh, it's all it's a great bargaining tool for clubs to have, but it only works when those players actually want to go to the other team as well. It's all very well saying we'll offer up these guys, but actually in reality, they've got to want to leave the club and move on as well. So I think with the likes of Sterling, Laporte and Gabriel Jesus, those are sort of players that I would doubt would want to move to Tottenham. If they were going to be moved on, they could definitely go somewhere much better because they're top players. So I'm not sure if that's really going to work. And I would be surprised if, if they agreed to, to moving to Tottenham. Um, but George, do you, do, you agree with, do you agree with me in thinking that it's Manchester City or nothing for Kane this summer? Yeah. I, you know, we, we know that Manchester United, their number one target is Sancho again. So you're looking at, at least 90 million euros for him. So I don't think they'll have enough money in the bank to then go for a, a world-class striker like Harry Kane. Be interesting to see what Chelsea do. I, you know, uh, there's been reports that Thomas Tuchel has given his, his transfer targets to the club. So whether he's on that list, whether it's Erling Haaland still, or whether we have to lower our aspirations even further. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. I'm sure there'll be bids that come in from other clubs, but I don't know. I don't know how much more they're going to go with this Manchester City because it's it's quite it, the, despite the amount of money they do spend, which you know is is evident for all. They don't spend a lot of money on one player. That's what you'd have to say. I mean, I'm speaking modern day. I mean, I don't think they've gone over the the hundred million bracket for sure for a player. No, the, so, mo the most they've spent is sixty odd million, and that was on Riyad Mahrez. So. That's actually in the, in you know the grand scheme of things. That's not actually a big transfer, so it's very unlike them. And I think Tottenham want at least 130 or 40. I think I read somewhere for for Harry Kane. So we say it's an opening bid, but I I, I think with the financial situation that we're in and what Manchester City tend to do, I think it will be more the case of trying to swap players round uh, that are included in the deal rather than the money aspect of things. Yeah, I mean, look, Manchester City, we know, have got a lot of money, of course. But as you, as you just mentioned, mate, they don't, they've spent a lot of money in the past, but they don't spend 
don't tend to spend big sums on an, on an individual player. It's kind of like 40, 50, 60 million pounds on on players rather than like, you know, your 80, 90, 100 millions that we that we see spent by some, some other big clubs as well. Um, but it's certainly going to be a, a saga that rumbles on, George. If I had to push you now for an answer, mate, will, where will Kane be next season? In, in a Spurs shirt or in a Man City shirt? As of now. I think, I think when we kick off the Premier League season, I still think he'll be in a Spurs shirt. But when he eventually makes his move, when that'll be, I don't know. I, I, I have to say it's Manchester City now. I was Manchester United camp, but I'm going to say Manchester City. Yeah, for me, I've, like right now, I think, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to drag on. You know, Kane said he's got a gentleman's agreement with Daniel Levy that he can leave. I think he gave him an extra season last season um, because Mourinho was coming in. So if Kane's speaking the truth, I've got no reason to suggest that he's lying. I definitely believe him over Daniel Levy. Um, and then he should be allowed to leave this summer. Whether Spurs get what they want for him will be another question. I'm not sure they can get the £150 million. Even Manchester City's riches, they would have been impacted by the pandemic as well. I would, I'm going to say that he will be a Manchester City player next season. And I reckon it will be £120 million plus a player. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure who that player will be. But yeah, this saga is certainly set to, to rumble on right up until the deadline day. But as always, guys, leave your thoughts in the comments below where you think Harry Kane will be playing his football next season. Make sure you smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll catch you in the next video.